So each of the boats will have a carbon monoxide detector, propane gas detector, as well as a low voltage warning. They will look exactly like this. Each of the boat has multiple ones of them throughout the boat. The main things are, so first off is the CO detector. That one detects carbon monoxide fumes within the boat. They're very sensitive sensors. They go off very easily if there's any little bit of carbon monoxide gas inside the boat. If that alarm is going off, it's a very loud, repetitive alarm. It won't stop going off until you either mute it or get rid of the gas that's inside of the boat. So in order to mute that one, you just press and hold this test and mute button here. It will beep, the alarm will shut off, but if there is still fumes within the boat, after that mute cycle has gone through, the alarm is going to go back off again. So what you're going to do is if you get that CO alarm going off, first thing you want to do is shut down your generator and engine. Open up some doors and windows and let your boat air out to get rid of the fumes that are inside. Do not just continue running the boat as there still is fumes inside. If the propane gas detector is going off, this light here is going to be flashing. It's a very loud, repetitive alarm once again. It means there's some kind of propane gas going with inside the boat. First things to check is your guys' stove and oven. Make sure all the dials on that stove and oven are turned off. Your barbecue on the front deck, or if you do have the boat with the barbecue on the second deck, make sure both those barbecue dials are turned off. If you need to and the alarm continues to go off, it just won't seem to stop, close up all your propane tanks on the front deck, let your boat air out, then you can open up the propane tanks afterwards as once you close the propane tanks, all the propane going inside the boat is off. The last one is your low voltage alarm. So there is no indicator on the low voltage alarm. You'll see what your battery voltage is at your breaker panel on your inverter panel. So anything below 12 volts, that low voltage alarm is going to start going off. It's a single beep and then about 10 seconds goes by and then it will beep again. That just lets you know that you need to start up your generator and get your boat charging in order for your batteries to get back above 12 volts. If you ever get the low voltage alarm out on the lake, do not be alarmed. Just start your generator up. Let it charge for about two to three hours to get a good battery charge and then you can shut your generator back off again if you guys desire.